Hey, welcome back. We are working our way through the entire book of Exodus. Today we're in chapter 8 at the very end of the chapter. We're at verses 31 and 32. Let me read them. We've just had plague 1, plague 2, plague 3. We're in plague 4 right now, and this is a bunch of nasty flies. So now we'll pick it up at verse 31. The Lord did as Moses asked and removed the swarms of flies from Pharaoh, from his servants and from his people. Not one remained, but... Pharaoh hardened his heart this time also, and he did not let the people go. Okay, so in the previous morning, uh, Pharaoh had asked Moses to please uh, ask your God to take the flies away. And so, yes, that's going to happen tomorrow. That was the agreement, and Moses did it. And then God did it. The flies are taken away, and they're completely removed. I mean, this isn't like the, the frogs were piled up into heaps and they had to smell them and have the stink of the frogs and all that under the under that plague this one all the flies are just removed completely and yet in spite of that what do we have here but pharaoh hardened his heart this time also and he did not let the people go so pharaoh reneges again on the agreement that he's made now it's interesting god does not react with some extreme vigor you know against pharaoh when he reneges on his on his agreements. God is confident. God knows he's God. God knows that Pharaoh is a creature. He's a created being. He's just a human person. God's not threatened. His ego isn't threatened in some way because Moses is like reneging, making these agreements and reneging on the agreements. God knows who he is and he knows what his power is. He is God, the uncreated, and Pharaoh is a creature. And you know, God is not distracted by Pharaoh's wibbly-wobbly approach here to this. School continues to be in session, and Pharaoh's in school. Pharaoh's being schooled, and all the Egyptians are being schooled. And dare we say, well, let's not forget this, the Hebrews are being schooled. The Hebrews are learning, hey, our God is powerful. Hey, our God is benevolent to us. Hey, our God is a God we can trust. We can have faith in him. So there's lots of, lots of education here, lots of higher education going on. And, you know, the Hebrews are relearning that they can have faith in Yahweh. And I want to ask you, how is it with us? How is it with you and I? Are we relearning anything? Do we know that we serve a God who is in utter control of the universe? Do we express faith in him? Or do we act as though those are kind of like open questions? Wow. Think on that today. Hey, and may God bless you through this day. See you tomorrow morning.